Spot, the Spot is in Right now we are flying to the waypoint Betia. That waypoint was never on our initial flight plan. How did we come that far and why are we flying there? Well that's the thing what we're gonna cover today. But first, welcome back to a new video. Today we are flying from Frankfurt Runway 18, crossing all the Atlantic Ocean down to the Dominican Republic, Punta Cana onto runway 08. Right now it's 9.30 p.m. in the evening in Germany and we're shortly arriving Punta Cana. But where did we come from on this day? So we started off in Frankfurt, departing runway 18, which is this one right there. And then basically it was just a Sopra 2 Lima departure on a runway track of 176 all the way out to Delta Fox 160. What we always have to be careful with is the max speed of 220. We cannot fly flaps zero in that case because our green dot speed would be above 220 knots. So what we have to keep in mind is keep flaps one in that case here. Most of the time after maybe even that distance here they clear us unrestricted climb and then we go onto our route. So we started out in Frankfurt down here. From Frankfurt onwards we went into the French airspace that right here is Paris. And from Paris onwards, we went down to the English Channel, which is that whole area right here. And from the English Channel, we basically made our way out onto the Atlantic Ocean. We entered not HLA airspace over the waypoint Bedron that day. Before reaching not HLA airspace, we need a clearance, as I often said in the videos before. So, but when do we have to get that clearance on the way coming there? So basically, one hour and 30 minutes ahead before reaching waypoint Betra, we have to request a clearance so that we are able later then to enter the not HLA airspace over Betra. And then the Oceanic Atlantic Ocean is basically separated in different sectors or FIRs. First one was Shenwick FIR right here. From Shenwick we went into Santa Maria. We are always connected via CPDLC with them but we also do have to make an HF call and uh, check uh, the cell call check. That is that loud beeping in the cockpit. Uh, hello, Iberia calling Radio number? Yes, this is Iberia 2627. Iberia 2627, Sandwich Radio, good evening. Secondary HF with Sandwich 564 Niner. 30 West, contact Gander Radio. 8891, Secondary 5616. So every time we cross a boundary like here or here into the New York FIR, we have to check with the new FIR that Cellco is working, HF is working and CPDLC basically reconnects us as soon as we cross the border automatically. So the routing of the day then took us through those whole sectors all the way to New York then, which was the last sector, which is that whole thing right here. Sorry, my, my, my drawing skills suck, I know, but yeah, bear with me. And then basically we, our last ATC or controlled airspace was uh, San Juan. And from San Juan onwards, we basically start our arrival at car talk later. That was at least what we thought. So we reached the waypoint Kika. From Kika onwards we went to Thank and shortly before Thank ATC reached out to us with a re-clearance. A re-clearance basically means we have to divert from the original route to somewhere else. And that somewhere else was from Thank we had to fly to Gemma and then direct to Betia, which is this one. And from Betia, we were expecting the Betia 1 whiskey arrival. It's basically this one. So we fly like a little half circle all around that corners here. But the traffic on that day wasn't that bad. So the thing we got, always expect the unexpected shortcut in aviation. We went basically from Betia direct to Agnal. 
and Agnal is the initial approach fix, which is stated right here. And we have to be at 3000. But why does ATC do something like that? And that is pretty simple. We had a lot of departing traffic this day in Punta Cana and they are always departing in the direction of 08 or 09. If you look at the other chart here, if we would have come the normal way down here, the departing traffic going north could intervene with our arrival. So what they like to do in Punta Cana is send us over bait here, which is a bit more up north, and let us come in basically via the north and let those departures all fly out here. Because they are high enough here where we would cross and we are low enough in that case. So that makes sense in all the cases. So yeah, we do talk German from time to time the cockpit since we're a German airline. So nevertheless, what I just stated to Captain is, since we're flying from Agnal, basically that arrival to Wolle, that was the waypoint I just stated to the Captain. And after Wolle, we do at the initial fix, that's Wolle, we do the left turn onto the final track. From Wolle to our descent point of the Arnav, there's not much time left. What you can see right down here. So Wolle is at 10 miles. Our descent point is at nine nautical miles from the runway threshold. So we have exactly one nautical, okay, one nautical mile to basically configure on the final track that we don't want that. So what we do, or what I stated to him that I want to do it that way, is that I want to have flaps two right here, flaps two, and then we go into the turn and have plenty of time and do not rush anything to uh, basically go down with the glide path to the runway. So I just ordered flaps one there and that was over waypoint Agnal. We came from up here, did a slight left turn and now we're flying to Volit. And from Agnal to Volit we have around 5 nautical miles. And 5 miles is the perfect distance to decelerate the aircraft without using speed brakes. And um, yeah, just have plenty of time to decelerate down to the, to the flap speed or the S speed in this case then, and uh, to configure further shortly before Volet to uh, flaps to like stated earlier. So now we're overflying the waypoint Volet. Shortly before that, I activated the approach phase. That is why final app is now active. And um, setting flaps too, like I said, because we only have that one mile and then to go down on the glide path configured with flaps too, so we don't get any speed problems. And with flaps full, all the landing items were completed. Only thing missing was the landing checklist, what we did any second. I want to know from you, do you like those kind of videos? So let me know down below in the comments if you appreciate those ones. Where I just go a bit more into detail. What's uh, the procedural knowledge like? What do we have to think about? All that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments if you like it. And now enjoy this beautiful landing on a sunny day in Punta Cana. Hundred above. Check. Minimum. Approaching zero eight.
400. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Five. Where does the rain be sound?